What happened? Somebody set up us the bomb. We get signal. What? Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you, gentlemen? You're all right. All your base are belong to us. You are on the way to destruction. What you say? You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Ha ha ha! Ah! Someone set us up the bomb. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you probably do know and have heard of this meme before, the All Your Base meme from uh, a couple years ago. Uh, many years ago, in fact. If you're about 30 like me, that probably been like 10 years ago. But nevertheless, All Your Base has been a pretty prominent thing in the internet, along with other memes. And Talc Media Productions decided to go ahead and make a card game called the All Your Base Last of Last card game. And you'll be in this game playing from two to six players, but really I'd recommend three to six. And it takes about 20 minutes to about 45 minutes to play the game. In the game, you'll be playing as, uh, I guess, either a ship captain or the bad guy. I mean, I don't really know how the theme of uh, All Your Base is. I've heard it many, many times before, along with the music and all that stuff. But I, I guess... You're going to be trying to collect as many bases as possible. You'll be using zigs and other different interesting attack vessels, along with captains like cats and operators and narrators, to try and successfully defend and attack other people's bases. Depending on the number of players in the game is how many bases you'll need to secure, and if you can secure enough bases on your turn, you will win the game. It's a pretty simple, straightforward game as far as collecting bases, because really, all your base are belong to us. Here we have All Your Base, Last of Last, the card game, or All Your Base, Last of Last, the card game. And in it, you're going to be getting a box as well as the rules and a ton of cards. And they're just going to say All Your Base, Last of Last. Um, and they all come with different things like ships and, and, and whatnot. But in the game, that's pretty much what you're going to get. Now, this is going to explain the rules, but I'll go ahead and tell you all the phases up above and give you some pointers as to how it works. So, the interesting world of all your base, last of last, the card game. Well, the first thing you're going to do is give every single player seven cards from the deck. You'll shuffle the deck and deal out seven cards. In the deck, you're going to find cards called cats or crew cards. You're going to find ship cards. They're going to be destroyers, zigs, and battle cruisers. And you're also going to find red alert cards and bases. Uh, after you've gone ahead and dealt out seven cards to every player, depending on the number of players, how many bases you'll need. In a four-player game, it's going to tell you it comes actually on the rules really easy. Six players, six bases. Five players, seven bases. Four players, eight bases. Three, nine, and two, twelve bases. So the more players, the less amount of bases needed. Uh, after that, you've got, everybody's got their hands cards. You're going to go ahead and start with the player who probably last saw all your base and uh, simply draw a card from the deck. This is called the red alert phase. If it's a red alert card, you can choose to play it instantly or you can save it in your hand for another red alert phase. After that, you can go into your defensive phase by simply playing down a base card, a crew card, or a ship card. Now, you can't play a crew or a ship card unless you have a base on the field, so you always want to put down a base to begin with. Uh, finally, if you can't do any of those things, you'll just discard a card. You can only have seven cards in your hand total. The next thing you can do is if you have ships on bases, you can attack with those ships against other players' bases. You'll choose a singular base, attack your ships versus their ships, and, and, and planets, of course, all their defense, so it's attack versus defense. You'll always have to have one more attack than the opponent's defense, and if you do, you'll take that player's base. Everything gets discarded that was used except for the base, and you'll get change back from the discard pile if there is any. Uh, towards your ship. So if you do, let's say, eight uh, against five, then you're going to get three back. So if, sorry, eight against five, then you need to be, get at least a six. So you get two back from the discard pile. So you probably pick up something like, oh, I don't know, a, a cruiser. Um, and then after that, you're going to simply go to the regrouping phase, which is all the bases you have. You can move around all the ships you currently have on the field to any of those bases to kind of protect them as best as you possibly can, because you want to spread your forces out to protect all of your bases. 
Then the next player is going to get to go and draw a card, check the red, red alert face, so on and so forth, placing down things and whatnot. Whenever somebody is able to acquire all their bases they need in the game, they're going to win the game all your base and gloat and laugh at their opponents. Anyway, let's go ahead and go down and I'll show you a couple turns of play. And then after that, I'll tell you what I think about the game. So as you can see, I went ahead and set up the game for three players. And if you look on the thing, it'll tell you that in a three player game, you're going to need nine bases to win. We'll start with me because I'm the coolest and I'm in, in front of over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card for the red alert phase. I can activate a red alert card. Like for instance, if I wanted to, I can steal two bases from a player and they can move their ships around or discard them. But I'm not gonna do that because nobody has any bases yet. So my first action is going to skip to the defense phase playing a base because I don't have a ship or a crew I can play in a base because I don't have a base yet. Uh, I won't need to discard, which is nice, but then I can go and move on to the next phase, which is going to be the attack phase. I don't have a ship to attack anybody else's base and no one has bases, so I couldn't attack them if I wanted to. So I will go to the regroup phase and I would move my ships along. So basically, you're going to be playing a base on your first turn. Uh, the next player is going to get to go, drawing a card, could activate a red alert card. This one says the captain is a bit dense, shuffle the discard pile and draw one randomly and play it immediately. It's pretty cool. He's got a base card to go ahead and play that and he's going to pass his turn. The next player is going to simply go as well and he's going to play a base card. Um, ooh, he has something interesting. So maybe after he's drawn his card, instead of just playing the base card during his red alert phase, you can play red alert, all uh, place your entire hand at once. What? So he can in fact play all his base and all of the cards on the bases that he wants to, which can be very, very, very powerful, as you can see. So now he's got quite a bit going on. So these players are probably going to team up against him. So now it's the next player's turn, going to draw... Uh, actually, no, he can go and activate his attack phase. He could do that as well. So after he went ahead and placed all this stuff in his defense phase, uh, he's then going to go to his attack phase, and he could choose to hit people's bases. So he can go attacking this guy here for three. He's got a defense of two, so this will go over here. And this will get discarded, no change for him. And then this player, can he can go and hit for three as well. These would go to the graveyard, and he would take this base as well. He then be, have the ability to regroup, moving these around. And then the next player would get to go drawing a card to start with. He uh, then would play his red alert, which lets him steal two bases. So maybe he'll steal these two, making him move his bases away. It's a good way to get some bases right there, right? Then he could play, uh, let's go ahead and play something scary to defend. Let's go ahead and play this battle cruiser here, which is a plus three. And then he could choose to try and attack, but realize here that this has two and two defense, which is four, and he handles only three attacks. So he's not gonna be able to push through these defenses just yet. So uh, make sure you have seven cards in your hand at the end of your turn, and the next player is gonna get a chance to go drawing. What does he have here? The captain is a bit dense, shuffle the discard pile. He will do that because if he gets uh, this card here, he can play his whole entire hand at once. So he's gonna go ahead and shuffle the entire discard pile up and flip the card over. Uh, he got the, he got a ship, so there's no base, so he doesn't get that. Two bad could have been useful um, and he's got no base in hand so he has to make sure he has seven cards he does and he's going to end turn the next player is then going to get to go and at the end of his turn he collected up to seven cards you're always gonna have seven cards now he's gonna start his turn up drawing a card here he's got another red alert steal all ships from any one base and put it on yours BAM another ship on his base he is a juggernaut here and then he's going to get, for his action, place a Dreadnought down. And then, he, once again, he can attack if he wants. So he can go ahead and attack uh, five on this two here, which means three, which means he's got two back. So if he has change in the discard, he does. He gets that. And then he's going to attack over here, empties that, and he takes his bases back. Sorry, no base ever goes to the graveyard. It always it always goes to the player that claimed it. And the game would continue like that. As you can see, this player is doing very well, but there are red alert cards in the game that will change the way it's played and uh, kind of destroy certain things. Destroy an entire enemy's base and everything on it, right? So that's the idea. But once somebody collects enough bases to win the game, they simply win the game. All your base lasts and lasts the card game. All right, let's come up and I'll explain uh, what I think about it, any caveats and so on and so forth uh, about this really cool little meme from a while ago. So, caveats for all your base, last of last, the card game. Well, the first thing is, I messed up a little bit. I was so excited collecting bases, I attacked twice on one of the player's turns. You can only attack once on your turn and only one base, unless a card allows you to take an extra turn, or uh, some of the red alert card has something different set on it. Usually the rules will get ignored when playing with cards from the red alert uh, 
from the red alert cards in the deck. Okay, so that, although otherwise, is how you play the game. Moving around, trying to collect bases. It has a very basic theme for a very basic premise. You want to collect bases, and so playing cards down is what you're going to need to do in order to attack with them. Um, every base has two defense, so it prevents the ones and twos from simply attacking and stomping them over. However, in a two-player game, this is virtually not playable, in my opinion, uh, it, because what happens is the player who plays first always has the advantage, especially if they have a three, because all I can do is, I play a base, you play a base, I play a three, I attack with my three and take your base, I lose my three, your turn, you play a base, I draw a card, I play a base, uh, or I play a three, I attack your base. So. There is certain things that can like change the flow of that, but really it's it's not common enough. We played it a bunch of times to make sure that uh, it was not going to be working for that. It just doesn't work based on the two player variant. So really it's a three to six player game. And we played a four player to five player game afterwards and it worked just fine. It played out, uh, the, the red alert cards changed the way things were happening and some player would be instantly in first place and then what would come out and change the game because all the cards would hit the field and uh, from their hand and simply they'd be able to kind of like balance the game out. The red alert cards do do that. Um, if you're a newer card gamer, somebody who's interested in maybe you like the meme of the all your base and you like the stylistic artwork from that. I mean, as a kid, this is kind of one of those things where I had nostalgia from it. And when I saw this card game pop up in my in inbox, I was like, oh, that's really cool. I really like that uh, idea. I wonder how they're going to uh, initiate it. Well, it's for very... Uh, it's for very new gamers. This is not going to be something for deeply strategic in a lot of aspects. It has a lot of luck in it. It's a simple tableau management as well as attacking, and then you have a little bit of take that with the red alert cards. So I wouldn't recommend this game to somebody who's more interested in some deeper complex strategy card games or somebody who's going to be trying to uh, hope there's a lot less luck because realistically the cards in your hand like uno or other games are going to determine whether you win the game as well as whether you draw the right red alert cards there are certain plays that you can make in the game by attacking ships to ships and how you position your ships and move your ships around your bases and whether or not you use crew cards and whatnot and when you use those red alert cards that can make the difference as to a win or a loss but it's kind of just a random crazy thing that has a little bit of laughter in it we were cracking up most of the time when we were playing it Less than the two player. We were cracking on the two player because we just couldn't figure out how to get it to go. Maybe maybe we didn't understand how two player works, but as far as we gathered it, it worked in every other player uh, variant. Um, and it was always crazy and no one knew who's going to win, but in the two player just did not play. So if you're picking this up for a two player game, don't, do not do it. Um, the artwork is all your base artwork. So you're, I, you know, I don't, I don't know what you want to say to that. It's nostalgic to me, but is the artwork really good? Not, not necessarily. <laughs> um, so overall, it's going to be up to you. For me, it's right on the level here for a basic card game, provided it's for multiplayer. I'd probably only play this at a five or six player game, and only if people wanted something very light and simple to just drop on the table, or especially if I was playing with, with kids, I guess, to get them interested in how meme, the types of old memes and whatnot. Overall, though, it's your choice as to whether or not you're going to pick the game. Uh, all your base, last of last, the card game, a couple of little things here up in there, and a couple fun things as well. Right down the list for me. Cool little meme. Always enjoyed this, very nostalgic. Hey guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment, as well as checking out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We're actually currently giving away three copies of All Your Base, Last of Last, the card game. So if this even is a little bit interesting to you, I would definitely go ahead and try and win it there by sharing the love of old classic memes. Um, also, go ahead and check out my friends, everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek two great sites that also give away a ton of good stuff and have a great list of different uh post recording reviews for games all right guys that's all i got for you this time for reels and as always i look forward to capturing all your base because they are belong to me next time
Explosions rock the mighty bridge, the captain not so sure. Red alert, scream at me. Somebody said I bust a bomb. Somebody said I bust a bomb. 